Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Thank you for clicking on this video guys. It is time. It is time to unveil this all mat simulation slider set. Guys, I've been playing this game and playing this game even off camera guys. I've been playing this game, playing this game, adjusting numbers up and down, trying to slider, trying speed threshold, trying player reaction, reaction sliders, everything guys, up, down, medium, one by one, trying to find the medium to get some results, and I think I got it, but before I do this slider set, I want you guys to know, well, let's go ahead and get into it, boom, boom, let's get on over here, man, look at the slider set real quick, one thing I want you guys to do, man, is I want a lot of feedback. Obviously, I think it's a good slider set, but it's not a perfect slider set. Nothing is perfect anyway. But I want a lot of feedback, guys, so we can work on this thing together. You know, uh, you know, I put it out. You guys have a lot of in, uh, a lot of intelligent thoughts about things. So give me a lot of input in the comment section, guys. Hit me up on Twitter. Any any kind of way you can contact me and give me some feedback on these sliders, so we can make them a little bit better. I'm going to keep searching for the best result possible. Uh, and I want you guys to know, you guys need to play at least five games. The reason why I say five games is because you're going to get five different teams, five different type of ratings, uh, five different play styles from different teams. Uh, you know, every team is not going to attack you the same way. On defense and offense, some teams are going to blitz you more. And that's why I like all Madden, guys. And I'm going to get into it. Hold on a second. I'm going to get into it. That's why I like all Madden. You know, you're going to get different, a lot of different options in the highest level of Madden as far as AI programming. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Here we go. As you can see, my favorite team is the Redskins. Um, I just switched to the Chicago offensive playbook. I didn't like Washington's. They didn't have enough a third and long plays because Washington really is not a a, a, a big play team. <clears throat> they just they just get a little bit at a time and get their first downs. They're not really like a big play, exciting type of offense. And I wanted somewhere I could get my deep plays in. Um, okay, um, team specific, same Washington defensive playbook. Even teams, of course, off. Uh, as you can see, skill level is all Madden. Uh, and it's simulation, guys. Simulation. Play true to player and team ratings with authentic NFL rules and gameplay. That's what I want. Um, I got mine on four minutes, but you guys can put them on uh, anything you want. Um, I just use four. I'm thinking about increasing it for my CFM, but uh, whatever. It doesn't really what matter. No minutes affect the uh, slider set, just so you guys know, so you don't ask me in the comment section. Doesn't matter the time. Play clock on, acceleration clock I got off. Again, it's your personal preference. It doesn't affect the sliders. Same thing with minimum play clock time. It's on a fast speed, guys. It's on a fast speed. So things gonna be coming at you pretty fast. You know, blitzes, you know, just like the NFL. When guys leave high school and go to college, the speed of the game changes. And when they leave college and go to pros, the speed of the game changes. It gets faster. You got to think quicker. You got to react quicker. You got to, uh, uh, you know, make changes quicker. And that's what uh, uh, all Madden is, guys. It's from, you know, rookie, pro, all pro, all mad. The game is quicker, so I put it on fast speed. You know, auto flip, you can put it whatever you, whatever you want. Ball carry special moves, I got it on auto. <clears throat> Um, I take all this stuff like defensive straight, auto straight, ball hawk, all that stuff I leave off because uh, I don't want the CPU taking over my players. That you know, because it says when set on, your quarterback will automatically throw the ball if you do not take control of the snap. See, I don't want all that. The CPU will take over, guys, in all these different areas like this one, defensive switch assist. You know that could probably help you if you want to. If you like using a lot of people and you want to switch around. It can help you out. Defensive heat seeker assist. But you play the CPU, guys. You don't, you don't need all that. Well, it's up to you. Again, it's all up to you. I don't need to. Injuries are at 18. Okay? And it's I think it's a pretty good number. 
You know, anything lower, you probably ain't gonna get any injuries. Anything higher, you're gonna get a bunch of injuries. So 18 is right there. It may be able to switch it maybe to 17 maybe, but uh, uh, I tested it, guys. 18 seems fine. Fatigue is at 60. Fatigue. Well, you're not going with your, your first line players all the time. They gotta get tired, guys. They have to get tired, okay? So it's at 60. Player speed parity scale is at 15. If you go below 15, all oh, Madden is gonna wow you out. If you think you're good enough, because the player speed dis disparity is gonna favor the CPU in all Madden. I'm gonna tell you that right now. 15 is right where it needs to be, guys. I, te I tested the speed of these players. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Just leave it at 15, guys. Like I said, try these numbers. Don't, as a matter of fact, don't. Don't try to make sense of the numbers, guys. Don't try to do that. Just put the numbers where they're at and play for five games and then make your adjustments. If you go, if you try to do one play and go, oh, I don't like that play. Oh, I, I played Green Bay and they did this and that. No, play five teams, five different play styles, five different team ratings, and five different types of player ratings. Trust me, guys. Do not change the numbers. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I suggest if you really want a good slider set, and that you can feel good about play five games with them, okay? Before you make any changes, all right? All right. Coin toss, all that stuff don't matter. All right. Do whatever you want. Penalties. As you can see, offsides, 40. Ball starts, 40. Offensive holding, 30. Leave it at 30, guys. You're going to get all kind of holdings, all right? Defensive holding, uh, uh, 30. Face mask, 30. Base mask may, you know, it's been up and down. 30 has been about right. I try to go a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, if, if you see a face mask in instant replay, they're gonna call it, they're gonna call it. Illegal block in the back is real balanced. Uh, rough in the pass is 50. Uh, I left it where it is, okay. Uh, defensive pass interference is 60. 60 guys, 60. That way you won't try to do all this crazy stuff and against the CPU. Offensive pass and press, all this stuff is on. All these penalties are on. Alright? If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and, and get your numbers in there. Player skill. Quarterback accuracy, 65. Again, guys, don't pay any attention to the numbers. The numbers don't matter. As long as you get the kind of gameplay you want, that's what counts. Sometimes we look at sliders and we look at that number and then we start making judgments. No, no. Play five games with these numbers first. Trust me. The numbers don't matter. It's the gameplay that matters, right? It's the result that you're going to get against all mad so they don't cheat you. Okay? The numbers don't matter what the numbers are. Just put them in and roll with it. Okay? Pass blocking, 85. Wide receiver catching, 99 because you're going to drop a lot of passes depending on what team you have and what their ratings are, but I, I, I played with different teams too, guys. I didn't just play with the Redskins on a lot of these ratings. You know, I know people, uh, when they get my slider set, they're gonna be playing with different teams. I'm not gonna get the same results as I get with Washington, but I try to balance it out. And I found out with all teams that I played with, every time you get tackled, you're gonna drop the ball on passes. But in wide receiver catching, if you, if you, at 99, it seems like the only, your ball only gets knocked out when the CPU knocks it out. When it, all Madden knocks it out, which makes more sense. They knock it out, they knock it out. But you don't want the ball coming out because they got hit. Sometimes it depends. They still gonna drop some, but 99 guys, it plays good, trust me. If you guys saw the gameplay video earlier, if you didn't, um, I'll put the link down in the description, if I remember. Okay, run blocking, 93. Fumbles, 53. Fumbles work great, man. Let's leave it at 53, guys. Reaction time, 97. 97. Don't pay attention to the 97. Just put it in your thing, guys. Just put it in your thing. You want even balanced gameplay? Just do it. And I'm not and I'm not trying to tell you guys what to do, man. I'm just I just know people. When they see numbers, they're gonna change it. When they're gonna make judgments on it. No. Play it for five games and then do what you want. But I want a lot of feedback. I want a lot of feedback after you. If you change anything after five games, I want the feedback. Why? Because maybe it'll help me. Okay? So I'll give you a bunch of feedback, guys. And if you can, I want to see some of your guys 
that have YouTube channels or whatever, I want to see some gameplay. I want to see the actual gameplay of what, what kind of results you guys are having because I'm playing with a different team. You see what I'm saying? So give me some feedback, guys. I want a lot of feedback. Interceptions, 85. 85, okay? Pass coverage, 97. Tackling, 70. 70 works good with tackling, guys. 70, okay? 70 is beautiful. Uh, again, the field goals and all that stuff. I thought maybe changing these to try to make them good, but 50 is perfect. 50 is perfect for these, okay? All right, CPU skill. Accuracy, 35. 35 seems to work pretty good. They, 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 they're consistent with their pass, but when they're in a rush or you got a good sack going, they try to run out of the pocket, their accuracy goes down, guys. Trust me, all Madden would not teach them the accuracy. 35 is a good number. Pass blocking eight. Okay, even after the patch, um, even after the patch, uh, I, you still got to be eight to get your pass rush. You got to be eight, guys. You still get your pass rush after the patch. Wide receiver catching, 45. 45. They're going to drop some. If you go below, I'm telling you, if you go below over 45, it's getting close to 50, they ain't going to drop nothing. You're going to be like, man, they got to drop something. Come on. Huh? You're going to be dropping. Your guy's going to be dropping passes. So, you, like I said, I want the game balanced. It's not about the 45. It's about making the game balanced. Run blocking. Okay. Uh, uh, and, and, and I'll get to it in a second. Run blocking. It's really good right now. I think it can be tweeted just a little bit, but it's really depending on your, your your players, your ratings. So 45 to me works good, guys. 45, I'm telling you, works good. Sometimes your running game is going to look good. Sometimes your running game is going to get called. It depends on who you're playing. Now, if your running game always gets called, then that number don't work. But I'm telling you, I played a lot of different teams. Sometimes I'd be like, man, this running game ain't working. But I kept, I, I, I go, I, I stood by my own, my own principle. I went five games and I went, oh man, three of those games, we had a nice running game. And you guys didn't see them. Every time I do it on YouTube, I get blown out of something, right? Anyway, fumbles. And a lot of times you guys see me playing, I was doing some testing, guys. Uh, a lot of those plays, I just didn't want to pick, pick, pick. Some I, you know, I threw interceptions, but a lot of them was for testing, guys. Uh, fumbles, 53. Now, reaction time is uh, almost 53, but reaction time, guys, that is the key to this whole thing. Reaction time. I got it set so the CPU won't cheat you. They won't warp. They won't warp. Okay? They got to go through their full animation, their full motion before they react. Because if you don't, they're going to right in front of you guys. The interception. Whoop! Shot block shed. Whoop! They're going to be doing all that stuff. But I got it set, guys. It's nice, balanced gameplay. Interceptions, 47. They're going to drop some right at 47. I try to keep it as high as 50 as I can, but they never dropped at 50. They, they, they caught everything. But you got to drop some in, in some interceptions, guys, because your guy's going to drop some interceptions, okay? So I'm trying to keep it balanced and fair. 47 is perfect, okay? And it's still high enough where you're going to get a challenge, guys. You're going to get a challenge by the CPU. They're going to be getting some INTs, baby. Uh, pass coverage 47. Again, they won't be jumping all in front of you guys and cheating over it. And it's almost like they can, they, they already know your pass is coming before you throw it. Stuff like that. So 47 is perfect. Tackling 45. 45, you guys. If you look at the ratings, you guys that, you know, uh, can uh, hit, I mean, uh, you know, uh, run people over and stuff like that. 45 is good for tackling. And of course, the kicking stuff is at 50. All right, guys, I'm trying not to take too long on this. Visual feedback, you can do whatever you want. Um, you guys can see what I have, in case you want to know. Um, there you go. All right. You know, some people always ask me uh, how I get my color scheme right. Um, I got my brightness on higher and I got my contrast on higher. Um, and plus on my PS4, when I go into my settings, I have it adjusted a certain way. Okay? And I don't want to go into it now. I can't remember what it was. It won't let me, because I'm, re I'm recording directly from the PS4 right now. And it won't let me do it if I go into settings, as far as that aspect of the game, of the system. Volume control, if you want to know, there it is right there. 
master volume 100. We will be able to do an auto mix custom because I, I custom. I put the crowd volume just a little bit down to 95. And I turned the music off, of course. Um, I put it down to 95 because I wanted you I want to hear more of the player chatter on the field and the commentator. The mix is a lot better when it, sometimes the crowd drowns things out a little bit. Uh, so that's what I got right there. Okay, guys, game controls, of course, it just tells you what to do. If you didn't know, if you like a certain pattern on your controller, it tells you what you can, what you can do, guys. Ball carrier stuff. But guys, that's it. That's it for my slider set. And I just want you guys to do it for five games, like I said. And give me some feedback, guys. Give me some feedback, please. Give me some feedback after five games. And if you change anything after five games, please let me know why, because maybe it can help me. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope all mad don't be rocking y'all and knocking y'all out. Uh, but I, if you can, guys, show me some videos. I don't, if you... Just let me know you got some videos out there. I want to see. I want to see other people's results. You know, it's kind of different. Um, maybe if I see other people's results, maybe it'll help me also make adjustments. You know what I'm saying? So let's do it together, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And hey, man, we can all do it together. And as always, I want to say thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you got to get on up. You just got to get on up. Thanks for watching.